Hi, I'm Eric Wong. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for our USB Digital IP. And I'm Hezi Sar. I'm Product Marketing Manager for MIPI Fies and Controllers. Thanks for joining me here in our hardware lab. I understand you've provided us with a MIPI M5. Yes, our M5 is uh, silicon proven, high speed gear 3, um, really compliant to the latest specification, version 3.0 from the MIPI lines. And uh, my understanding is we've plugged your M5 test chip, silicon proven, into our HAPS FPGA platform, mm -hmm. connected to a device in a house, sure. and then uh, and plugged it in, and we can demonstrate. USB 3.0 SSIC uh -huh. here in the lab. Which is the industry's first USB 3 SSIC running on the The industry's first. We should really get started with the demo then. Let's go. So let's review the block diagram of our demonstration today, which you can see is a HAPS ASIC prototyping system allowing us to implement both the device side and the host side. On the device side, what you can see is on the prototyping system, we have the USB 3.0 SSIC controller instantiated on FPGA connected to our high-speed gear 3 M5. Uh, on the other side, connected to the PC through the PCIe interface uh, to uh, connect to the device uh, PC. And the M5 is actually on a daughter card in this particular case. That's what they're going to see. And uh, that will be connected some, through some blue coaxial cables from the device over to the host side. And on our host, we have the identical hardware setup, but with a different controller, the host controller, same M5, because the M5 can work in as a host or a device. That's right. And then uh, on the host PC, where we're still running standard Windows drivers. So there's no modification of the drivers on host or device. The only difference really is the controller and the M5 between the two. And we use those blue coaxial cables to, uh, because in a real system, this would be FR4 over PCB, but since this is between two ASIC prototyping platforms, we have to use cables. Great. So why don't we take a look at the demonstration Let's do now, it. the actual demonstration. Let's simulate a connect, which would be like turning it on. So you turn it on and you're going to see, going from the left side of the screen, that's the device. On the right side, you're going to see it pop up. And we've set this up as a mass storage demonstration so you could see that pop up, that soft connect, when that wireless modem turns on, although in this case we have it as a storage device. And now we've got an empty storage device. We're going to take a data file from our host, copy it over from our host to our device, even though the device is over there. You'll see. A uh, very fast transfer of a bunch of files. Was that fast, Hezzy? Uh, very impressive. Yeah, very impressive, yes. So, so we've just seen the world's first demonstration of... USB 3 SSIC running on M5, operating in high speed. So, Hezzy, uh, we saw your silicon-proven test chip here, mm -hmm. connected up to the HAPS platform Correct. with our host on our device, running a super speed transfer using SSIC. That's correct. It's a very impressive demo. Does your M5 work? In any other ways? Yes, our M5 also operates with other digital controllers from Synopsys, like UFS and like Unipro. And does my USB controller work with our USB 3.5s? Of course, it in multiple designs. Great. Well, I hope that we can do this again soon. Thanks for joining us in Thank the lab today. Thank you very much today. for inviting me. Have a great day.